Leos, hello. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm Jade. This is Star, Moon, and Sun Tarot. I'm going to clear the resonance. And once more. All right, Leo. So whether you have Leos in your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, there could be messages here for you, although it may not resonate for every Leo, right? Take what resonates, leave what does not. This is going to be your Law of Attraction love reading, okay? And it is for the remainder of April. I do sometimes forget to say that, but I always, um, I'm always asking for, you know, from the present out to the future, um, several days to several weeks. I try not to nail it down too much because it's different for everybody, for real. We're all on slightly varying timelines, okay? So, we're going to be looking at three different things for um, this Law of Attraction love reading, right? We're going to be looking at animal medicine and, and guidance. We're going to be looking at um, chakras, which chakras you should be focused on. And we're also going to get advice from the universe, okay? And I've got a couple different decks for that. If you're interested in any of the decks I'm using, I always list them in the description box below as well as information on personal private readings with me. Um, what else? My email, other social medias, that type of thing, okay? So let's get into it. For Leo, this is going to be the first deck I'm taking from. One animal medicine card, angel spirits guides. Show me what I need to see for my Leos, please, for their highest good. What is the animal medicine they need right now? For the rest of... April. Okay. Snow Leopard, self-reliance. Let's read this. You are strongly independent and often solitary. Integrity is important for your best outcome, right? Integrity is important for your best outcome. Remember that. Um, cloak yourself with invisibility and walk with the shamans. Use your intuition and let your life unfold in silent perfection. Wow. That's awesome, Leo. I love that. <laughs> that is such a uh, Leo card. That's the most Leo card I've probably ever seen that's not a lion. <laughs> what else? Okay. Do I have this upside down? I do. So we got the wombat spirit, right? Saying be at home, which I mean, we're all kind of, we're, we're doing that right now. But wombat is really comfortable in his position, right? Seahorse spirit, watch and wait. Porcupine spirit, time for beginner's mind. Okay. So, yeah. Here's the brown bear on the bottom. All right. So, you've taken a, a time out here. Um, you're resting, rejuvenating, being very self-reliant, self-sufficient here with the wombat. You're very comfortable in that energy. Um, this reduces down to a 14 to a 5, 9, 5, 8. And this is a 12 to a 3. Okay. So the seahorse spirit is saying, watch and wait. Seahorse is very patient, right? Um, has a good balance of emotional energy. Um, so you're more than comfortable. You can watch and wait and take as much time as you need. Um, but this, this beginner's mind, this, this being a little prickly, right, with the porcupine, you don't want to be so self-reliant. And so, you know, you might be a little introverted as well. Um, Especially during this little timeout where we're kind of watching and waiting, right? As for Leo's, please. I get a little bit more with the tarot. King of Shells. Again, with this, this starfish. Um, interesting. This happened for Aquarius, I want to say? as well they both got both of these so if you guys have Aquarius in your chart that might be interesting to go watch if you deal with an Aquarius um what else give me a few more please thank you this one okay wow the wheel yep this is change and possibilities the wheel is turning here that's why you're watching and waiting okay wow thank you we've got temperance you're learning balance and harmony with this page of acorns, you might be spending a lot of time um, if you have children with your children, um, but you're discovering, you're figuring things out, you're getting really crafty here, and you're taking your power here and persevering, 
right? Self-reliance. You, you are doing it. You're making it happen. Wow. The emperor is on the bottom. Focus. Stability. Again, this is, this is all you. But there's a good balance here. I mean, there's several big cats, but there's also the zebra with temperance. The wheel. These, these are water creatures, right? Um, so there's a good balance of emotions and being at home or in nature here. Let me move these over here. I know this is kind of annoying, sorry. I just want to get them out of the way so we can refer back to them in the rest of the reading when more relevant things come up because they always do. All right, so the next thing we're going to look at is your chakras, right? Angel spirits and guides, what chakras are most activated at this time? What chakras should Leo's work on healing? Give us information here. Action, there's some type of uh, movement or motivation that's happening here. It's going to come out of this. You're watching and waiting now, but it's going to, yeah. So this is, um, <clears throat> wow. So, you're being driven, there's movement happening here, and it is being driven by, A, your intuition, right, your instinct, but it's also by guidance. Some type of connection, reality, there's a presence, a divine consciousness here. Um, it could be um, family. It could be family, okay? Um, spirit guides, angels. Right. Let's see what else happens. Show me what else for Leo, please. Okay. So um, here is the scribe. I always see the scribe as some type of spiritual guide, somebody that has access to the Akashic Records um, that is trying to communicate with you. What are they trying to say? Hold on. Ugh, what is this? Faith. Oh, okay. They want you to keep faith. Have faith. Wow. That's some type of new opportunity, something new, new passionate start here. Um, have faith. Go after this new passionate beginning. Um, whether it's a new project you're starting or a, a new relationship, yeah, you can you can take your mask off. You can be yourself here. Um, there's there's pain that you've had to move through, and you might have to do this blindly. I'm getting. You might not. Um, you might have to. Uh, it's like a, a faith, a leap of faith into the darkness. Um, yeah. There's some type of balance that needs to happen here. Prayers. And then there, there's, this is balance though. Yeah. There's got, there's a choice that's happening. Okay. So there's a couple ways this could go and this could have to do with choices that are not just up to you, Leo. Okay. Wow. But here's another um, seed underneath this, another, um, ace. This is the ace of fire. This is the ace of earth. This is something grounded and, and stable here. And we do have the father and another cougar. This cougar came out as the emperor, right? The emperor, the father, the scribe. Um, for some of you, this spirit guide may be a father or your grandfather, this, this guiding presence that's trying to help you. There might be um, a fatherly figure and a scribe. There might be separate ones here. They're trying to help guide your intuition um, to get you into balance with yourself here, right? Healing, healing, praying.
This is, yeah, air, energy, fire, water. But there is some type of opportunity and a choice. Okay, keep that in mind. I'm going to move these out of the way here. Well, I'm going to leave him there. Okay, let's see what else. What other advice? What other advice from the universe for my Leos, please? What other advice do we have for my Leos? Queen of Swords, Page of Swords. You may have had to make a cut, cut somebody off. Um, uh, distance, distance. You want this distance so you can gain knowledge here and, and study maybe new passions or some new development here. Is that Ace of Pentacles? This is some type of real world 3D opportunity that is gonna that is gonna come for you, come to you. We also have the Queen of Cups here. So we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and also Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You might have these in your chart, or they could be in people's around you. Yeah, there's some type of soulmate, past life, um, strong soul tie connection here. Wow. You're holding on to this. Um, this is going to be justice here. This is Libra energy. Um, wow. Here we have the High Priestess on the bottom. You can feel this. This is like the spirit guides trying to communicate with you, trying to help guide you, trying to help you make the best choices, right? Trying to lead you to this opportunity that would be just. And you're holding on. There's someone holding on to you or you're holding on to somebody here. Portal doors are opening. You decide. Rewards. This is like the wild card. Um, wow. So that's what I'm saying. New opportunity. Cracked open. Rock bottom. Surrender to the alchemy of life. Yeah, something there massive um, beginnings can can lead to new you know, massive endings that literally crack open your whole reality can lead to these new portals yeah here are your star ancestors this is hidden secrets lost wisdom look a little deeper they're trying to communicate with you um, you know, this is all about earth school right life lessons soul growth you're studying you're this is um, this is like a leveling up You've got to pass some type of test and learn stuff. I think you're going to do good, Leo. I think you're going to do good. Remember, um, integrity, right? That was the very first thing on that Snow Leopard card. Move with integrity. We've got Broken Arrow saying embrace the energy of peace. Make peace with people, right? No fighting. Ah, and release the old and rest. It might be time to release old energy, old ways of thinking. Wow, we've got the we've got the water guardian, right? Connect with your emotions and I do feel like you are doing that. Um Mother Earth, feel loved and comforted, right? This is very much empress type of energy. Getting in touch with your mass your emotions and your feminine side, right? Whether you're a masculine or a feminine. Um we had the queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups. That talks to me about balancing your discretion and your emotions, right? Being able to cut somebody off if they are not um, filling your cup the right way, right? The Animal Guardian says trust your instincts as well. And on the bottom, we've got Stargazer. Set your sights higher. All right, Leo. So that is what I have for you for your Law of Attraction love reading for the rest of April. Um, I hope I was able to provide some guidance. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, much love to you guys. Stay safe. Bye.